Hey everybody, welcome to Kimo's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Pain Hustlers, right? That what it is? Pain Hustlers. And it's about a girl who um, looks for a better life for herself and her daughter and joins a pharmaceutical company. She rises doing sales, but then finds herself um, in the middle of like a federal criminal investigation. That's all it says. It's on Netflix, which is fantastic. It's only 6.5 on IMDb. 15,555 people rated it so far. That's kind of neat. Um, but Emily Blunt and uh, Chris Evans are in it. So, I don't know. Oh, and Andy Garcia. And Jay Duplass. And, I don't know, that's it. I mean, Netflix. It's two hours and four minutes long. 6.5. I don't know. I'm excited. Let's see. Stick around. I'll let you know. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Pain Hustlers. Um, a little long, um, two hours and four minutes long, but it was good. I enjoyed it. I'm surprised. It's like, uh, I mean, it's great that Netflix has, I guess, the clout to put like, I think there are two, three really big stars into a direct to Netflix kind of movie. Um, it's based on a true story. I don't know if I said that in the beginning, but essentially, um, Chris Evans, um, he works for Andy Garcia. So they have this company. Uh, a pharmaceutical company and it's back in I guess 2011 and where they're really you know and, and when you could really go and meet with doctors and try and sell them your medicine right it's it's interesting it's a, you know you never think of it that way but yeah that's what pharmaceutical reps do right they have their own drug and they would go and they would hire salespeople to go and talk to doctors and say sell this drug to your or prescribe this drug to your patient and they would make money. So that's what they did. So Chris Evans, he was really big into it. He finds Emily Blunt, who's like down on her luck kind of thing. And really, he thought she had some talent to come in and help sell. <clears throat> she joins the company. And they skyrocket, right? But uh, they do so in such a manner that they're, they're really, you know, like um, dancing on the fine line, as you will, of making people sell it so like doing different things bribe is the first thing that comes to mind but like you know incentivizing the doctors illegally to push that prescription more and more um and, and it's fentanyl and so um so it's that whole story so it was very very interesting to see that whole thing come out you know the whole like i i knew a little bit about it but this is a, a lot more intriguing and educational but um, very good. So um, I thought it, it, I thought it was great to see those two and Andy Garcia in a, in a lesser role um, on Netflix. Um, I thought they brought a lot to the story, and uh, I thought it was eye-opening to see what really can go ha really go on in there. And they mixed in enough like while it's a, it's a terrible subject, you think about it like making people addicted to a drug just because you want to make more money. It is really like dealing drugs um, <laughs> but you know so it's a delicate topic I would say but I thought they mixed in enough I don't know humor or laughs or, or lightness I'll say not even humor or laughs enough lightness to make you you know not be depressed the entire movie and uh, you know so so there you go uh, definitely worth a watch if you obviously have Netflix I think a lot of people are going to check this one out it's worth a look see because if you don't know much about the opioid pandemic, um, this is a good insight to what has really happened and what's going on. So there you go. All right, that's it. And with two, three good stars. All right. Hopefully that was helpful. I don't know. Thanks for tuning in. Kill those Irish